Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a book talk on Lux Beginnings by Jennifer L. Armentrout, also known as the first two books in the Lux series, Obsidian and Onyx. I am so excited to be doing this book talk for you guys today. So many of you guys recommended this book to me when I hauled it a couple weeks back and I decided to pick it up and I absolutely loved it. So I'm very excited to share my feels on this book with you guys and also give some of you that have not heard of this book or have not read it yet a little bit of a non-spoiler section. So for those of you that do not know, this is sort of like a sci-fi young adult book I guess is how I would classify it and it deals with aliens and it is awesome. A lot of people say that this is kind of comparable to Twilight and I personally think it is so much better than Twilight and I love Twilight I'm a huge Twilight fan and I I just loved this book more. I thought it was amazing. This book follows a young girl named Katie. She's 17 years old and her and her mother are moving to West Virginia to kind of get a fresh start after her dad has passed away. Going into this book, you know there's gonna be aliens, you know there's gonna be hot aliens, you hear all about it on the back, and who else would be Katie's neighbor but a hot alien? Two of them actually, boy and a girl, brother and sister, hot aliens living next door to Katie. She has no idea though. So I guess the whole premise of the book is really just Katie and her being exposed to this whole new world, literally with aliens and all of this stuff and kind of her relationship she develops with those aliens and just crazy stuff happens guys. Crazy stuff happens and this is a five book series. I've only read these two. I'm planning on starting the third and fourth as soon as I film this book talk because I need to carry on with the series. I'll also be doing book talks on the third and fourth book in one video and then the fifth book so look forward to those if you have read them but if you have not definitely check out the series guys. I really really recommend it. I gave both of the first two books five out of five stars. I thought they were absolutely amazing. It's such great writing. It's really easy to read and follow along with. You don't get lost easily. I have trouble with you know things that aren't contemporary because there's always so much to like the different cities like dystopians and sci-fis and you know fantasy there's so much to the story that it can kind of get confusing at times but I did not find I had trouble following along with this book so that's awesome the story is fast-paced it takes off right away you're right into the story as soon as you start reading it there's great vibrant beautiful characters it's just amazing. Please let me convince you to read this series. It is so good. Just read Obsidian. Like, you don't even have to read the whole series. Just read Obsidian. You'll want to read the whole series, but just, I promise you, if you've not read the series, you can count on me. If you're like, oh, Laura, I can't read that. I only read contemporary romance. You'll like it. I promise you, there's romance. I promise. I promise you will love these books. So please give them a try. So for those of you that have not read the series yet, I recommend that you leave now. I'm going to say bye to non-spoiler people so that we can get started talking about some spoilers. So just a little bit of a warning. If you've only read Obsidian and you have not read Onyx and you're planning on watching just the half where I talk about Obsidian, might not be the best idea. I don't know if I'll accidentally spoil something that happens in Onyx. This all feels like one book to me, you know? So I can't really differ from the two. So I wouldn't recommend watching this until you've read the first two books in the series. So if you've not read the first two books, I would not recommend watching this book talk, but if you have, then please keep watching. I love all of the characters in this book. Katie, Damon, you guys, I will talk about Damon in a second. Um, D, like I love the whole little group of everybody. I just think they're such great characters, so likable. I hate snotty, annoying girl characters, and I love the two girl characters in this book. D is the kind of character that I love as the best friend, you know, the kind of bubbly, fun, exciting, you know, always happy kind of best friend. It's like my favorite type of best friend, so I was really into that. It's kind of the whole like dynamic of like Alice and Bella. It's like, and Katie but you know we're gonna try not to compare this all to Twilight because I will I will go off I think it's so funny how Katie is a book blogger and she like runs her own blog and she makes little vlog videos and in the first like chapter she's wearing a shirt that's like my blog is better than your vlog and it's just like guys Katie is one of us I thought it was so funny and such a cute little added thing into the story I love Damon okay you guys all told me you're like you're gonna fall in love with Damon Black he's gonna be your newest biggest book boyfriend I can promise you that and you guys were right um Damon is literally up there he's like my top two it's like him and Travis Maddox from Beautiful Disaster are my top two book boyfriends I love Damon so much I just immediately loved him you guys know I kind of have a thing for bad boys it's kind of a problem but you know I just I love my bad boys and Damon is like the perfect annoying arrogant but hot bad boy <laughs> And I just gotta say, I really loved the idea of having aliens. I've never read a book with aliens in it. I really want to read the I Am Number 4 series. If you guys have read that, let me know about it. But I have never read something with aliens. And I just gotta say, I prefer aliens over vampires. Like, every day. I swear to God, I love the whole alien dynamic. I think they're a lot more normal than vampires. I hate how vampires, like, don't sleep. They don't breathe. They don't eat. It's, like, annoying. <laughs> they have so many, like, issues. Like, aliens, like Damon and Dee, they're just kind of normal. They, they don't have to breathe, but, like, they kind of will. Like, they... they 
they eat, you know, they eat a lot. <laughs> I love how they all like ate so much. It's so funny, Dee's like always eating like massive amounts of food. It's so hilarious. But yeah, I love how they're kind of more like humans than, you know, vampires are. I mean, vampires were at one time humans, but I don't know. I like aliens better. Aliens for the win. I love the whole idea of Lux and how they're all aliens that emit light and, you know, the whole story behind the planet and what happened to them I think was really interesting and well described in a way that doesn't confuse you. Like, I can get confused really easily when reading about other places like I was telling you guys and this kind of just got to the point explained the story and kind of just gave us their abilities and I think it's really awesome I was immediately shipping Katie and Damon like she went up and like rang his doorbell and was like where's the nearest grocery store and I was like ship it even though like he was so mean to her like I, <laughs> I always just like spot the ship and I'm like this is happening this is really happening and I'm just waiting for it and it really didn't happen in the first book they really didn't get together like they had like this great amount of tension like it was so obvious but you know just gotta just got wait till book two till they actually get together like the end of book two too and it's like the end of book two like wow like Jennifer L. Armitrout's really dragging this out and I'm glad though because it's not like insta lovey like you guys know nobody likes insta love so that was really great Throughout the whole book, you know, when she kind of sees, like, Dee's hands start disappearing and, like, when she kind of gets all these little, like, what's this? And she's really suspicious before she even knows about the whole alien thing. I was, like, thinking. I was, like, how does she, like, see it? Like, how does she know? And I thought it was going to be, like, some whole thing where she's, like, part alien, which, like, is not possible at all but you guys know if you've read Twilight how Bella like has her vampire powers before she's a vampire I thought it was gonna be something like that but like obviously you can't be like part alien if you're not like you know what I mean I don't know but I was just like there's definitely something up here I don't know what it is but something's going on like when she was fighting against the um the Arams Air Arams I don't know how to say it I've been saying Aram in my head do you guys want to help me out if you guys know how to pronounce it let me know because I'm for now just saying Arams but yeah those I when she was like fighting them and stuff and she like killed two of them I was like how is she doing this? Like, there's gotta be something. There's gotta be something going on there. The anticipation of the Damon and Katie first kiss was real. Like, they're just fighting all the time, and I'm like, this is gonna end. Like, something's gonna happen. They're gonna kiss each other. Like, I don't even know. Like, I love a good built-up kiss, and it was, like, so built up after, like, all this time, and finally it just comes out, and they're, like, making out, and then Damon's like, oh, yeah, your light's faded now, and she's just, like furious. I could like see the steam coming out of her ears. <laughs> and then at the end of the book we have that big battle scene and then he heals her and then she starts feeling weirdly connected to him and their heartbeats are the same which I was like what is with this? She's like oh our heartbeats are beating at the same time. Like who would notice that? I don't know but it was really weird and I was really confused like everything was like going well until then and I was like what's going on? And so then I immediately picked up book number two. I loved this book more than I loved Obsidian. I thought it was amazing. Both have five out of five stars but I'm pretty sure I liked it a little bit more. I just loved the whole Damon pining after Katie day after day. I thought it was so cute. I love how he pokes her with his pencil every day in class and just tries to get her attention, get a rise out of her. And she's all like, no, we only have these feelings for each other because of the connection from you healing me. And he's like, mm -mm, that's not true. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's not true. We have Blake, who is that new kid from California who like knows about everything. And I immediately was like, something's off with this kid. Like I could tell something was off with this kid from the get go, guys. How about you? Could you tell before we even knew anything about Blake that he was bad news because I knew Damon told her like every day this guy's bad news I wouldn't trust him and Katie's like no I'll trust him and it's like just listen to Damon like Damon knows what's up just always listen to Damon it's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna listen to Damon every day of my life scouts honor I have no idea how to do scouts on her. But yeah, just trust Damon. Damon's the best. The whole scene where like Luke is there and then Adam dies, that was like the most heartbreaking scene ever. I'm pretty sure I cried. Like I'm pretty sure I was like bawling tears and then she starts crying to Matthew. Matthew like comforts her and I was like, that's kind of cute. I was just like, oh my God. Like I, I was heartbroken. I was like, wow, everyone's gonna hate her now. <laughs> um, but then Damon like doesn't hate her and then she like goes and finds him and then they like, admit they like like each other and I was like what a weird time for that to happen it was kind of unnecessary like you're like brother almost like basically your brother just died and now you're like making out with her so I was just like whatever with that but very weird near the end when Katie and Damon are like cuddling in bed and she's like I love you he's like I knew you were gonna admit it that whole thing I was like Oh, like the book's ending on a cute note. Come to realize there was like so much left of the book in like 20 pages. 
it was crazy. The whole thing with Katie's mom's boyfriend was crazy. I was like, this was unexpected. Like, I could see the Blake thing, but I did not see this coming. I'm kind of blanking on a lot of stuff right now. I read the book last week, so, you know, a lot is missing. But there was that whole thing with Bethany, and she's still alive, so Dawson must still be alive. And then she gets taken, and then her mom's boyfriend's like, if you have Damon cure me, then I'll be part mutant, and I'll leave you alone, or whatever. And then he's like, I know where your brother is, and, like, Dawson's still alive, and I was like... <sighs> so much is happening. There's like 10 pages left of the book and then like they go and try to find Dawson and then he's not there And then Damon's like heartbroken and they get back to the house and Dawson's there, but Dawson Is not the same Dawson And that's where the book ends and I was like come on guys like Dawson obviously isn't gonna be his same self He's probably gone through so many terrible times in the past two years since he's been missing and I just can't even imagine how hard that must be for him, especially not being with the love of his life, Bethany. And I just feel like he must have been abused so bad. So on that note, that is all I have for you guys today. I've only read the first two books, so please do not comment spoilers for books three, four, or five. Even saying like, oh, like the ending of book three broke my heart. Or like, oh, you're not really going to like book four. Like those are all spoilers. Please refrain from using them. I might not even come look in these comments just because I'm really scared of being spoiled. And I do not want to know anything. Like anything at all like don't even be like but like you'll really like this book like don't even give me anything just like tell me your thoughts on books one and two nothing about the other three books please i am begging you por favor so yes i guess that is all i have for you guys today i know very short kind of to the point book talks i just kind of wanted to get my feelings across overall loving the series so far obsessed with damon katie's awesome i'm just loving the action the romance everything is just so great together and i'm really enjoying the series so far so i just wanted to share that with you guys i just wanted to talk about the series a little bit because i love to get my feelings out and i know you guys like watching them and kind of sharing the feels with me so I hope you guys enjoyed this book talk. If you'd like to see more of them in the future, give this video a thumbs up so I know that you would. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and I hope you guys are having an absolutely wonderful day, and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Like a permanent stain Wishing I could just wash away Away Hate our love was in vain Who was to blame for all the pain? If I would have known